Hi, this is Dave Spector, musical director for Chicago Blues Network, Chicago Blues Boot Camp. Thanks for checking out my lesson of Messing with the Kid, probably Junior Wells' most famous tune. They first recorded it in 1960 on Chief, a cool independent label. Check out his Chief recordings. Earl Hooker plays guitar on a lot of those. My two favorite versions are from the early 70s, a record called Drinkin' TNT and Smokin' Dynamite. It's Junior and Buddy, Bill Wyman's on bass, Pine Top Perkins on piano, and there is a live version of that recording on YouTube. And then there's also an album that Clapton produced called Buddy Guy and Junior Wells Play the Blues from 72 that has a cool studio version of it. Um, I'm gonna play it in the key of C, which is the key Junior mostly did it in. And um, it's a funky blues, definitely not a shuffle, and it's got the famous melodic line that pretty much gets played at the end of every verse and at the beginning of the song and at the end of the song. And it goes like this. Again. So I'll just slow that down for you. I'm starting on the eighth fret high E string, sliding into that note. Going to 11B with my pinky. 8B with my index, this is all pentatonic. 10G, 8G, and then going down a half step from 8G. strings. So that's starting on 10D to 8D, 10A to 8A, and then 6A to 5, 8 low E, 6 low E, back to 8 low E. guitar usually doubles the bass line more or less and a real basic guitar part doubling the bass line could just be this parts. Um, some of you might be familiar with the term the box shuffle, uh, which we teach in Chicago Blues Network uh, with Buddy Guy's Let Me Love You Baby. Uh, check out my lesson on that. It talks a lot about variations on the box shuffle pattern. The box shuffle is called the box shuffle because you're basically playing um, a box pattern. <laughs> within those two frets. There are two variations. So I'm messing with the kid, I'm playing. So it's just 8A, eight uh, eighth low E string. 10D to 8D. 10A. To the root, back to the eight low E. Ah. Slide into that note there, that's a nice sound, nice feel. Now, for the four, a lot of options, but I like starting with my middle finger because it's just a nice fingering pattern fingering pattern to set up the next moves middle 
index to pinky. Middle's at the, on the F, that's your four. And then we're going index seven to pinky 10. And then back to eight, 10. Index finger, ba -da -da -da, 10. Two bars of that four. I'll play that again slowly. Back to the one. The five is exactly the same as the four, just moved up a full step. So we're going to start at the tenth fret A string, middle finger, and then index finger to from 9D to 12D. And then I come in with the index finger to ring 10 to 12 on the G string. And then the signature melody riff. And you notice I'm sliding into that first note, kind of stinging it a bit. I'm going to count it off and play the progression a couple times through. Two, tap your foot. One, two, three, four. I changed things around at that second time through when I went to the four instead of I just changed the uh, the order of these notes or so I just started with the ring finger now I'm going to start with the first finger just an option there on the five or have the option there and starting it out always start with the melodic riff two three four I'm sorry two three four if you were playing chords say you're in a two guitar band um, I would recommend using ninth chords or seventh chords. We're just going to use this movable ninth chord in the key of C. And that's movable. My root. So my root is on that C. My first finger goes to the second fret D string. And then I bar with my ring finger on the top three string. Remember that root is C, so for the four chord we want to find the F, which is at the eighth fret. There's your F9, and back to your C9. For our five chord, we want to find the G on the A string to play the G9, which is up here at the tenth fret. So there's our G9, walking down to the F9. So the rhythm could be something like this. One, two, three, four.
sliding into it. And that's a nice, nice half step move there. And I'm kind of doing. And I'm accenting that root with my right hand on the A string. step down. Nice walk down from the G9 down a half step to the F. Okay, my favorite version, Buddy Guy plays a really cool funky rhythm that's a little advanced that I love. If you watch that YouTube video from the Montreux Jazz Festival in Switzerland, just uh, search on YouTube. Junior and Buddy messing with the kid. Buddy's playing his Sunburst 57 Strat. Um, and my favorite Buddy guy is the stuff he played in the 60s and the 70s. Just had an amazing tone, very clean tone. It got a lot dirtier as he developed uh, more, you know, kind of the flashier style, more of the quote-unquote blues rock sound. I love you, Buddy, but I like your old recordings more. Um, so that rhythm... Um, is like this. I'm going to kick it off with the uh, the melodic uh, melody line. One, two, three, four. Check this out. down. So there are a couple ways to play it with just straight single notes. So it's that, hit that root and then hammer on. There's some alternate picking involved there. on the D string. And then you can play it chordally. I'm sorry. So there I'm just kind of barring the D string and G string. Which kind of, kind of gives it a minor feel. It's definitely a major key blues. But as you know, the pentatonic scale is a minor scale, so there's a lot of crossover where you can use minor notes in a major blues and it'll sound okay. And then I'm just bar on the four, I'm just barring, barring the G string and the B string. that video of Buddy and Junior at Montreux and you'll see what I'm talking about where it's it's kind of like double stopped little two note chords um, but you can also play it as single note it usually ends and then the last time it retards it slows down that very last time. Sometimes it's three times, sometimes it's twice. Play along with the record and make it funky. Thanks for watching.